right, welcome everybody to Flood House Frenzy. I'm coming, I'm coming to you live from McDonald's. This is this is a first for us all, my friends. I've never hosted, uh, I've never hosted a live webinar or anything for that matter from from a McDonald's. But that's that's the situation. We, uh, my wife and I, were up in Dallas and uh, had an event scheduled for tonight that got uh. uh uh, canceled essentially so we decided to head back a little bit early and we were stopped here in Corsicana to do the Wi-Fi um, to do the webinar but before we get started I want to know if uh, if if I'm coming in loud and clear so if I can get some uh, let me get some chat going uh, send me some little messages and let me know you can hear me loud and clear shoot send me shoot me some little thumbs up uh, symbols, whatever you can do, because I want to get this thing started. I don't know about you guys, but I want to get started. I've got a lot of slides to cover. We're going to cover a massive amount of information in a fairly short period of time. So as soon as I start getting uh, some good feedback, and I know there's quite a bit of you logged on, so just go to the little quit, um, chat area. Let's see, I'm coming in now. All right. Let's see here. All right, sweet. You can hear me good. Thank you, James. Thank you, David. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate your feedback, James, everybody else. So loud and clear. Um, guys, if, if the audio goes out, I'm uh, I'm using our, our good friends at McDonald's Wi-Fi as well. So if Wi-Fi goes out for any reason, just let um, send a little message, and uh, Care will be monitoring this section. I will not be because I'm going to be focused on uh, on the webinar. And we're also just to give you guys a little visual. We're like the little kids section is right here, and uh, luckily it's not too busy in here if you look around. But here we go. So locked and loaded. All right, before every webinar. We got to get a little energy, energy going. Energy is important. We put away the distractions. Let's go. Let's go. Let's learn. All right. So this is Flood House Frenzy, and we're going to dive into this this bad boy. I'm going to call this a bad boy webinar. So we're going to dive into this bad boy. So what are you going to learn tonight? Why are you spending your time with me sitting at a McDonald's right now? That's the question you got to ask yourself. So here's what we're going to learn in the next 60 minutes or so. So first and foremost, we're going to, we're going to cover some of the seven fundamentals of real estate investing. Give you, I'm going to give you a brief overview in one of our case studies. And I know some of you guys, um, who are either students or you or you follow me and you attend a lot of my trainings probably sound like a little bit of a broken record with the seven fundamentals but guess what that's a incredible thing because as I'm sitting here at McDonald's I'm looking and I'm you know I can see their menu and they've got like videos playing guess what McDonald's serves they serve Big Macs and like quarter pounders with cheese and and salted french fries right they've been selling those same items for years and years and years. I don't know if I don't know if the McRib is in season right now or not, but they've sold the same things over and over and over again for decades because they work. And that's what the seven fundamentals do. So for those of you, maybe your first time attending one of my web, my webinars or watching a replay, like the seven fundamentals work. And so that's what I'm all about. That's what I teach and I preach. And I'll live by because we run our investing business with these fundamentals. So we're going to over give you an overview on those and why they're so critical for you. Then we're going to move into the flood impact and opportunities because there's a lot of opportunities in a flood. There's a lot of tragedy and there's a lot of sadness that go on when a, when a situation like this happens. Like example, Hurricane Harvey in the Houston area, but there's so much opportunity. We're going to share. I've got five uh, case studies. They're not house flipping. That's an error. They're five flood case studies that we're going to cover. Um, we're going to talk about some mold remediation and liability protection. I'm going to share with you the types of flood houses that we like to buy and the ones that we like to avoid. I see investors buying the ones that we like to avoid and not buying the ones we'd like to buy. So I'm just gonna share with you what we do and you do what you wanna do. I'm gonna show you literally how you can make a fortune and how we've made a small fortune with flood properties just in the last seven months. Um, 
the role of private money in this and financing flood houses and a lot lot more i've got a lot of slides a lot of content to cover so what is the training not about it's not about these items like don't care about your excuses don't care about your past failures this is not a time to sit and listen to me lecture and it's not a time for you to waste time tonight's about taking action right so who am i so this is me my name is brent phillips owner of a company called invest on pro along with a few other companies we specialize in investments construction and education construction specific to investment properties and we've got an education platform and a coaching program called the wealth passage i've wrote some books all about real estate i've got a new book coming out pretty soon i'm like the dude that if you hear stories i guess you'd say rags to riches or the guy that started you know dead broke living in an apartment with a credit card no knowledge no experience just a dream and a drive that's what i like to say i started with a dream and a drive working a full-time job and learned how to creatively finance real estate how to do no money down deals how to buy rental properties and later i began to learn how to flip properties and i learned owner financing and i learned wholesaling so we we've built a business model that's built around these seven fundamentals of real estate that target really we specifically target one type of property, but it's a property that gives us at least four, four ways to generate income. And we can do this in any market, whether the market is up or down or sideways or indifferent, doesn't matter. And that's why these seven fundamentals are so critical. Um, I've also got a new book uh, coming out pretty soon called private lender playbook. And so this is one of, I, one of my passions right, is like my hobbies, I guess, if you will. It's a business hobby, but it's a hobby is writing books, educating people, teaching, inspiring and equipping people like to go out and take action. And so I, you know, I've been, I'd say pretty good at raising private money. We've raised 30 to four, closer to $40 million since I started in capital to do our deals. And without my private lenders, like I, I would not be here. So I, I do a lot of speaking, training, teaching people how to successfully lend into real estate. And I've got a book coming out uh, pretty soon uh, that Nathan Long from it was the Quest IRA CEO um, co-authored. He wrote a few chapters as well to help out on this in regards to self-directed IRA. So this is just a little uh, shameless plug about a book coming out. Even if you're an investor it, and you're raising private money, which – if you're not raising private money, I don't know how you're really sustaining business unless you like a trust fund baby or you got tons of money. I don't know. But one of your jobs, right, as an investor is to get educated. So check out the book when it comes out. It'll be on Amazon. Help, it will help you become a more uh, educated investor when you get into these conversations with your lenders. So this is a picture of my family. Uh, yes, I have five children, believe it or not. I know it's a 29 year old that only has five kids and it's hard to believe I'm not 29. I'm not going to tell you my age, but I'm a wife and I have five kids. But you know, kind of my reason for sharing this is like, what's your why? Like the question is, what is your why? What's driving you to attend this webinar, to go out and do deals, to make money? Because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's something, something much bigger than just making money. Because I find a lot of the people that are just out to make money don't really – it's not sustainable. It's not a sustainable why, right? So, like, attach your your motivation with something bigger, whether it be family, whether it be charity, giving back, some greater good that's going to get you through some of the difficult challenges, right? And just make it more meaningful pursuit than just making a bunch of money. We're going to teach you how to make a bunch of money. It's like it's your job. Right to like use it wisely and be a good steward. Like create a freaking awesome life. And that's why my coaching program is called Wealth Passage because creating wealth. I view wealth as something like wealth in in family, in health, financially. There's so many other deeper meanings to that word that, than just money. So, who am I not? Quick disclaimer, I'm not an attorney, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a financial advisor, and I'm not promising anybody out there that you can easily make a bunch of money in real estate 
or even do what we do or even half of what we do or even a tenth of what we do. Like I'm not promising on that. I'm not asking anyone like this is not some webinar for me to pitch or promote uh, anyone like offering investments opportunities with our company. We're pretty well stacked. We're good there. This is just an educational uh, type of uh, webinar about what my experience has been. And I'm sharing that with you. So my friends, my friends in honor of of my Houston Rockets who are in the, are in the Western Conference uh, finals or championship versus Golden State Warriors. My friends, it's time to go. So put away distractions to get ready to take notes. That means like getting out a pen, getting out some paper. I need everyone to do this with me like on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, just breathe. Just breathe, my friends. Like, take a deep breath in. Like, it oxygenates your mind. And I don't even know if oxygenate is a word, but I need you to oxygenate, okay? Like, just oxygenate and breathe and just begin to open and expand um, your mindset. Be open to expanding your mindset, right? And consider new possibilities. Consider new things. Be willing to rethink some of your current strategies in real estate and then really ask yourself uh, like some really honest questions like is this working for me is this getting me the results that I want and if not like what do I need to do differently because there's probably going to be some strategies in here tonight that you can you could use all right so flood house frenzy you know that's a pretty cool name but like why do we use the name frenzy um, is, is it just because it rhymes with flood yeah pretty much but there's another reason and this is my goal like I have a goal for every presentation I do or speaking event like I want to create like some type of reaction for the audience and what we want to create tonight is violent mental excitement okay violent mental <laughs> excitement is what we're how we're using the word frenzy tonight so I'm just gonna warn you all like consider consider yourself warned that if you have a violent mental Excitement episode tonight. Like, don't say I didn't warn you because that's the goal for tonight. All right, so let me get a drink of my Diet Coke. Okay, so I love to start with this quote from Benjamin Graham, who, if you don't know who he is, he was a uh, mentor of uh, Warren Buffett. So he said, Successful investing is about managing risk, not avoiding it. So, what we're going to cover today is definitely applies to this because there's a lot of risk in the market that we're going to have to learn how to manage not necessarily avoid okay i'm going to i'm going to speak right to that pretty soon so getting into some of the i'm going to cover a flood a few flood items and topics but this is mainly going to be a case study web uh webinar and i guess why are we even doing this webinar i should take a step back let me before i dive into some of the slides i want to explain why we're even doing the the webinar tonight the presentation so going back to when hurricane harvey hit here in houston um, which was late august right of 2017 um all kinds of things came out into uh, a lot of opportunities arose, right? But the fact of the matter for all real estate investors in our market, nobody knew how the market was going to respond, like over the short term. We could project some things for the long term. Um, no one knew how the hur how the hurricane was going to affect the market. The, you know, people were making all these predictions. It's going to balance back in, you know, five months, six months five years, 10 years, never, you have you know, people on all sides of the conversation. Um, you know, me personally, the only prediction that I made was there were going to be a bunch of Hurricane Harvey babies being born because they're much trapped up in their house for like a week or whatever. So, and come to find out, I think I'm right on that. Uh, but I made no claims about the real estate market, okay? But here's some things that, that I'm going to frame for you guys. So, Talking about flood properties is this. Consider that a majority of the average American's net worth is in their home. And as sad as this may sound, Hurricane Harvey has created the single greatest transfer of wealth in the history of Houston. That's a fact. 
so many people's uh, in their net worth, their uh, everything they work for, like they put it a, a substantial amount, a majority of it is in their homes. And what can I say? There's never been a transfer of wealth that has taken place like Hurricane Harvey. And I'll share a conversation with you guys that I had um, the following the later the same week of the flood. It was that Friday. I went to a friend of mine's office and this friend of mine owns over a thousand rental properties. He had a hundred and something properties that were affected by the flood. And I had a lot of properties that were damaged and we were both kind of stressed. The city's in, in turmoil and chaos, still flooded in many areas. And we've got properties that, that were affected by the flood. We're kind of like me, kind of like, man, kind of overwhelmed. Like that, the conversation changed. The conversation changed to where, you know, my friend said, but you know what? We're going to buy houses like never before.